action. Our next track action. You see the activity at the start. It's the final of the KF category. And there you see cart number 120, which is Lando Norris. He'll start on row two, just taking a sip of the energy drink. Just to the outside of Lando Norris is Linus Lundqvist. In front of them, Nicholas Nielsen will be starting on pole with Callum Eilert joining him on the front row. If you look to the top left of your screen, there is the screen. Cart 133 here is Nikita Mazpen of Russia with the all red undershirt. 104 to the side of him is Felice Tieni, driving for CRG of course, the Italian driver. Perhaps not been at his best this event, but starting on the fourth row with every chance to get a result here. This will be a 23 lap race for the KF drivers. There are already two rounds of the four been raced and coming into this event we had joint leaders of the championship, Nicholas Nielsen and Lando Norris, but with the points scored in the qualifying competition and in the heats, or rather just the heats, I should be saying. Now Lando Norris has 53 points, the driver in shot now, Nicholas Nielsen, 51 points, so just that narrow, narrow lead between the two of them. Nick Nielsen managing a smile. Outside of him, cart 106 at the front row is Callum Eilert. Well, actually he's not. Cart 106 is there. Callum Eilert we don't see in shot. Callum Eilert well in the championship standings with 47. Nico Kare, Nico Kari of Finland, third in the championship with 48 points. He suffered, a, I think, a 10 seconds penalty. And uh, that's not done his championship any good at all because he starts in P30, has to start in the 30th place. Nicholas Nielsen still at the bottom of your screen there. You see his rib protector. Lando Norris taking it all in his stride. No real anxiety there. Linus Lundqvist opposite him. Nice big wave from Lando to someone. He's going to have his picture taken. Linus Lundqvist has decided he'll turn his back on us. But he's got a smile on his face. He looks relaxed, doesn't he? Nicholas Nielsen and Callum Isle at the front row. Lando Norris and Linus Lundqvist row two. Hannes Janka and Tom Joyner, row three. Nikita Mazpen and Felicia Tieni, row four. And Martin van Leeuwen and Oliver Hodgson, row five. Cart 119, you see there, is Tom Joyner, the Zanardi Perilla. And Tom Joyner, of course, the current world champion, driving for the successful Zanardi Straka racing team. Tom Joyner, great ambassador for karting, off the track as well as on the track. Hannes Janka just uh, down to the bottom right of your screen, or at least he was then. That's not the case now. This is Karol Bash of Poland that we're looking at. Karol Bash starting on row 16. Nikita Mazpan there just having a sip of water. He'll start in cart 133 on row 4. 104 we did speak with, or had a look and spoke about, I think I should say, Felice Tieni, CRG Works driver. Nikita Mazpan doing a little bit of plastic water bottle juggling. Kuhn Lemons to the right of your screen there, just in the uh, fawn coloured trousers. Circuit owner here at Karting Genk, wearing the dark glasses. Well, this is uh, cart number 121 on lap five, uh, on lap five, on line five. Martin van Leeuwen driving the Zanardi Perilla and to the outside of him is Oliver Hodgson. Oliver Hodgson racing for Paul Fletcher International. Paul Fletcher is here. That's a cosmic chassis with the TM motor. Oliver Hodgson a little bit more successful in this event than he perhaps was in the first two rounds. We've had first round at La Conca in the south of Italy and Zuera in the north of Spain or Zuera if you wish. 146 at the bottom left of your screen is Takuya Akada, who will have to start last. Takuya Akada in the red and white racing suit starts last. Well, the last man in the previous race made a lot of forward progress. It can be done. 
Daniel Bray went from last to the edge of the top per dozen, I think it was, in KZ2. This is KF. 156 just in front of Takuya Okada is another Asian driver, Yifan Jia from the People's Republic of China. 129 that you see in shot, Nico Kari. Now, Nico Kari is from Finland and he had that 10 seconds penalty, which has set him back to 30th place. He lies third in the championship standing. So, Nico Kari will not be ready to just say, ah, oh, well, it's obviously not my day, I'll just drift round. He will be on a charge. Keep an eye on cart 129, starting on row 15. Keep an eye on Carol Bash in 102, starting on row 16. Another driver who has won World Championship races, Carol Bash, but uh, hasn't gone right for him in this event. Just outside the top 10, Nick Cristofaro of Bahrain is in uh, cart number 148. We didn't get a close-up of him, but uh, I did have a chance to have a word with uh, the other driver, Hassan, from Bahrain. And good to have the drivers from the Kingdom of Bahrain racing with us here in Europe. OK, well, the KF final is round three of four. After this, we've just got the round at PF International in Great Britain, in Lincolnshire, in England, at the end of August. So, and there is uh, Mr. Nigel Edwards, who happens to be the chairman of Trent Valley Kart Club, who of course are based at PF International. So, making the message there to Nicholas Nielsen and Callum Eilert, you know what the tram lines are for? Don't transgress, don't come out of them. One minute board being shown. Well, you didn't need me to say that because the lady came in shot, ideally. So in some ways, make or break time because there are some good drivers here in with a chance of winning this championship, but they do need a good result here. The drivers at the front, it wouldn't be a catastrophe if they didn't get uh, say a podium place, the likes of Nick Nielsen, Callum Islet, Lando Norris, if they don't make the podium it's not a disaster for their hopes but one or two others further back and uh, we've mentioned one or two like uh, Carol Bash and Nico Kari, there are others, Carol Dabsky had a really good start to the season, Pedro Hiltbrand went badly off the boil in his home round at Zoera when he'd gone really well in Italy and somebody spins at the start of the formation lap. That is not a good omen. Well, slowly away there was cart 121, which is Martin van Leeuwen. He's due to start in the top 10. You see his name there at the bottom right of your screen, but very slowly away. Hopefully he'll be able to take his rightful place at the start of this one. But Martin van Leeuwen for Kaiser Racing on the Zanardi Perilla, uh, Perilla struggling a little. Jahan Daravula driving for Ricky Flynn Motorsport can do a lot better than 19th. Expect to charge through the field from him. Nico Kari, bottom left of the screen, that caption, third in the championship, the Ward Racing driver on the Tony Kart will be very much anxious to make forward progress early on. Oliver Norris in Kart 33 on the back row, the elder brother of Lando Norris in Kart 120, who's on the second row. So, do we get a nice clean start for a first timer? We certainly hope so.
Nicholas Nielsen is on your left, Callum Eilert is on your right. We're going round on another formation lap. This is not a start, we're going round on another formation lap. Well, we do have the CIK FIA Vice President with us, Case van der Grint. The President is uh, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa of Bahrain. And if Sheikh Abdullah happens to be tuning in, Nick Christofaro of Bahrain is starting on row six in cart 148. No doubt, be looking for a good drive from Nick Christofaro to boost the image in international kart racing of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Had two world finals there in succession, really good events. So we try again, Nicholas Nielsen on the left of your screen, Callum Eilert on the right. And we are racing and Nick Nielsen gets a good start and uh, takes the initial lead and I think that Lando Norris has squeezed through into second place, yes he has so Lando Norris in second place in cart 120 and cart 106 Callum Eilert in third place so in these opening few hundred metres Nick Nielsen leads, Lando Norris is in second place Callum Eilert is in third place and that is cart number 108 is it or was it 138? 108 is Nicholas Gonzalez 138 is Nikita Troike I think it was... Uh, Nick Gonzalez, if it was Nikita Troike, he started in 29th place, so something happened at the far back of the field, and as soon as the screen widens, or the timing screen shows us which of those drives it was, I will tell you. In the meantime, Nicholas Nielsen, with a 23-lap journey in front of him, has built an early lead. That's the end of the opening lap. In second place, Callum Eilert, Having gone past Lando Norris, Hannes Janka fourth, Tom Joyner it was in fifth place. And struggling to read some of the numbers. Uh, Linus Lundqvist sixth, Felice Tieni seventh. One oh three in shot is Nicholas Nielsen. Nicholas Nielsen is from Denmark, drives a Cosmic Vortex for the Cosmic Racing Department. Callum Eilert in second place, drives a Zanardi Perilla for the Straka, Zanardi Straka racing team, which is a Swedish team. Callum Eilert, of course, a Brit with a Scottish first name. Yifan Jar up to 20th place from 32nd on the grid. Yifan Jar from the People's Republic of China has gone from P32 to P20 in less than two laps. Impressive, in fact, that was on the opening lap, wasn't it? Gosh, even more impressive. Well, Nicholas Nielsen now coming under a little bit of an examination by Callum Eilert. Callum Eilert in cart 106 has a long look back. Is there an opportunity coming? Fastest lap at this early stage for Dara of France. But Callum Eilert at the front, well, Callum Eilert uh, wasn't in a position to make a move there because of a slightly out of position early on but uh, again that glance over the shoulder tells him that there's nobody too close and an attempted pass of Nicholas Nielsen that didn't work is not likely to lose him and he places there's the move and Callum Eilert slices through like a knife through bread and Callum Eilert takes the lead Nick Nielsen looks over his shoulder can I fight back immediately well you could in the sense that nobody's immediately challenging you but on the other hand, Callum Eilert needs to be caught before you can pass him. Lando Norris in third place is well clear of fourth place driver Tom Joyner. Hannes Janker is fifth, Nikita Maspin sixth, Martin van Leeuwen in seventh place. Johan Daravula down in 13th sets the fastest lap. Johan Daravula started a lot further back than 13th, as I recall. Keep my eye on the screen presently though, don't really want to go looking at my notes when there's potential passing to be had. 
because Nicholas Nielsen is hanging on to Callum Islet, has not given up that first place, and tellingly, Lando Norris, the Brit in third place in part 120, getting faster all the time, isn't he? Callum Islet in first place, Nicholas Nielsen in second, but Lando Norris clear of the fourth place driver, which is Tom Joyner, and Lando Norris bidding to get in front of either of these guys should the opportunity arise it's very early in the race this is lap five of a 23 lap final so plenty more mileage 23 laps is very nearly 20 miles here at karting gang 31.28 kilometers so just a whisker short of 20 miles for those of us that live in countries that deal in miles so the point i'm making is it's a long race and you don't have to make a very dramatic choice of judgment too early on unless you're letting the other two get away and Lando Norris just momentarily lost a little bit of ground on the front two didn't he Callum Islet in that white race suit leading Nicholas Nielsen in the cosmic vortex colors with the cosmic colors Lando Norris looks over his shoulder there's no challenge because 119 Tom Joyner in fourth place is some distance away albeit uh, getting a little bit closer, Tom Joyner's broken completely away from the guys behind him in 5th, 6th and 7th, but still got a good race at the front we have. Callum Islet leads, Nicholas Nielsen in 2nd, that was a nice turn by Nicholas Nielsen, who gets a little bit closer to Callum Islet as a result of that, but not in a position to make a move. Lando Norris still in 3rd place. We're on the technical infield section now as we turn off the freeway straight, the longest straight, now we're into the Serpentine. The short shoots that are concluded by, and there's a move by Nielsen, and Callum Islet really left the door wide open, and Lando Norris could do nothing than really drive through it into second place. So Nicholas Nielsen, let's have a look at that again. Callum Islet leads, he's a little bit in no man's land there, isn't he? Doesn't come across early, looks, he knows he's got that wrong, and he knows he drops from first to third, and Nicholas Nielsen taking the lead on lap five. Lando Norris in second place, Callum Islet in third, Nicholas Nielsen is from Denmark, Lando Norris takes the lead, and that seemed almost out of nothing, Nielsen fighting back, but there isn't a route back, and uh, Callum Islet, while Nicholas Nielsen is trying to get himself positioned to attack Lando Norris, has let Callum Islet through, so Lando Norris now number one, Callum Islet number two, Nicholas Nielsen number three, and joining the party, and well in touch with them now, is Tom Joyner in cart 119. So there's teammates here, which is Callum Islot and Tom Joyner, not that they'll be racing to any kind of team orders, this will be a race for each of the drivers in this championship. Looking over the shoulders, Tom Joyner did tell me in Spain that he was thinking of changing to the KZ class, but then when he had such a good result in Spain, decided, well, I may as well see how I go, especially since I finish the four-round championship on the home track. There's a nice piece of driving by Callum Islet. Callum Islet getting back in front of cart number 103, which is Nicholas Nielsen. Oliver Norris sets the fastest lap, not Lando Norris in the lead, but Oli Norris at the bottom end of the top 20. Oliver Norris driving an FA Kart Vortex for Ricky Flynn Motorsport, and Ricky Flynn Motorsport have got that going pretty quick. Tom Joyner still in fourth place, not getting past teammate Callum Islet. It's Martin van Leeuwen in fifth place, but there is a le fair little gap between fourth and fifth, as our television pictures show you. That is Martin van Leeuwen in fifth in front of Nikita Mazepen. Dara of France is going really well. He's in seventh place, I think. Besson Sané, another Frenchman going well. And Gabriel Aubrey making it another Frenchman in the top 15. Oliver Norris gets a couple of places up to 17th there. Takuya Okada started 34th and last and is up to 16th. So the Japanese drivers today, having had a disappointing preliminary here at Karting Genk, are going superbly well in the finals. Takuya Akada from 34th and last has got himself well up the field into 16th place. Might well not make a podium. Jahan Daravula from India now racing on a British licence. Jahan Daravula 
Another Ricky Flynn Motorsport driver, originally with the Jarlath Cleary's Cartronics team when he won the Asia Pacific Championship. We're on lap 10 of 23. Lando Norris sets the fastest lap. Anything my big brother can do, I've got to challenge. So Lando Norris now says, I will set the fastest lap. And you know what? If you set the fastest lap when you're in the lead, it puts you in a pretty happy place. This is lap 10 of 23. We'll quickly look away from the screen to see what the timing position's telling me. Oliver Hodgson up to 8th, Johan Daravula to 9th, Pedro Hildebrand to 10th, but Nikita Mazepin dropped to four places there to 11th. Gabriel Aubrey up to 14th, relegating Nick Cristofaro down to 15th. Harold Dabsky just coming into the top 20 at 19th, just having passed Nick Troike, Nikita Troike of Russia. Well, we've got the best of the racing on screen because the scrap behind this man, Lando Norris, is a pretty hot one. Callum Eilert in front of Nicholas Nielsen, Tom Joyner in fourth place. They're not quite as close as they were. When I say it's a good scrap, well, so it is. But uh, Nicholas Nielsen chasing hard on Callum Eilert is the sharpest of these potential dices between the front running four. Lando Norris looks over his shoulder. There's not a lot of immediate threat. Callum Eilert does have an immediate threat in the shape of Nick Nielsen, although he is 0.23 of a second behind. So when I say a more immediate threat, it is not an absolutely imminent threat. However, one error by Callum Eilert would put Nick Nielsen in a position to punish that error. Tom Joyner goes through fourth in fifth place. That's Martin van Leeuwen. Dara of France, Julian Dara of France 6, Alessio Lorandi. Now I'm going to mention Alessio Lorandi because he had to go through the last chance race last night. And here he is in the final running in seventh place and we're only just at the half race distance. So you can find yourself in the last chance race and potentially get to the podium, potentially win. It can be done if you're good enough and Alessio Lorandi is good enough. Lando Norris sets another for, well, he's set a fastest lap, but now Linus Lundqvist has done so, but Linus Lundqvist is way, way, way down. There's only Nico Kari and uh, Douglas Lundgaard behind him. Part number one, there, sorry, Daniel Lundgaard. So from third last, Linus Lundqvist sets a fastest lap, one of those little karting quirks that happens sometimes. Into the second half of the race. One, two, three in shot there was Jahan Daravula, who's driven himself up into eighth. This is Lando Norris in part one, two, zero. And Callum Eilert glances over his right shoulder, as well he might, but Nicholas Nielsen thinking, no, I'm not going to be ex able to execute that move, so let's just see if we can grind a mistake out of Callum Eilert. Callum Eilert, who won the first round in La Conca in the south of Italy, but more disappointing in uh, Spain. But he didn't lose a lot of ground on the championship leaders. Championship leaders coming into this event were joint leaders, Nicholas Nielsen and Lando Norris. Lando Norris now leads, Nick Nielsen is third. Lando Norris got a couple of points on Nielsen through the uh, heats. The winner, the outright winner of the heats gets 10 points. The second best of the heats, of the aggregated heat scores, gets nine and so on, down to 10th best throughout the heats, getting one. As Callum Eilert now sets the fastest lap, which explains to some degree why Nicholas Nielsen is not as close to him as he was. However, he's not been totally shaken off. This is cart 1-2-1 that you see is Martin van Leeuwen in fifth place and behind him Julian Dara and behind him Alessio Lorandi. Daravula 8th, Oliver Hodgson 9th, Nicky Mazpin completing the top 10. Just outside the top 10, Hultbrand of Spain is 11th, Aubrey of France is 12th. Still beautiful racing conditions here. That was not one of the front runners, I don't believe, who you saw in screen going off. If it was, I was looking at the timing screen, but I don't believe I've lost either Callum Eilert, Nick Nielsen, Tom Joyner. Well, where is Lando Norris? It is Lando Norris, it was a front runner, it was the leader. Oh, I picked the time to look at the screen 
just in time to miss seeing the leader go out. Not that I want to see the leader go out, but this is now the race for the lead. And Lando Norris, just after the half race distance, has suffered an absolute disaster. It's not absolutely terminal to his hopes of winning this championship. But oh boy, does it hand Callum Eilert and Nicholas Nielsen a massive advantage before we go to the fourth and final round at PF International in Lincolnshire at the end of August. So Lando Norris having a massive misfortune just after halfway. And now this is the battle for the lead. Callum Eilert's advantage was 0.39 of a second. But Nicholas Nielsen's body language, there you see cart number 119, which is Tom Joyner now in third place. Nick Nielsen's body language was, uh, I am trying to get past Callum Eilert, but the evidence of our eyes now is that uh, it's a little bit further back than Nick Nielsen would need in order to make a pass on him. But these two are able, if they can continue through the remaining races, and Callum Eilert looked to be out of shape there, didn't he? Just getting onto a little bit of marbles, maybe. And Nick Nielsen. And is there something on that right rear tyre of Callum Eilert? Is everything all to the good? Yeah, maybe I was just seeing a little bit of debris picked up because Callum Eilert is under serious pressure from Nick Nielsen. And Nick Nielsen does take the lead. And I do believe that Callum Eilert might have some sort of a difficulty. And Nick Nielsen has a long look at Callum Eilert. Do I have to defend hard or is Callum fighting a mechanical problem that's going to give him a real handicap from here on in? And just trying to look hard at my screen. Let's have a look at the passing move. Well, it was just simple, wasn't it? And Callum Eilert really had uh, nothing that he was able to do to stop the move. Now, let's try and have a look at this part 106. It's not in shot at the moment, so I can't. Well, let's have a look at the last lap time. Callum Eilert's done a 54.16. No, he hasn't. He's done a 53.889 previously. But 54.16 getting a little bit slower, but as well he might have been. Did I thought get onto the marbles, as I say? Got onto the uh, rubber stuff. A little bit uh, icy when that happens. But at the moment, Eilert's still in strong contention. Tom Joyner not out of it in third place. Well, this ought to be a really, really good race if Callum Eilert is still 100% effective in cart 106. There's an Ardi Perilla. Doesn't look to be anything wrong with the way it's handling now, does there? In fact, reeling in Nick Nielsen to some degree. 0.3 of a second was the advantage at the end of the previous lap for Nick Nielsen. Maybe still holding a 0.3 advantage, but Callum Eilert charging along not falling back into the clutches of Tom Joyner in third place. As I said previously in commentary, these are teammates in the Zanardi Straka racing team, the Swedish racing team, showing some good form this year with several of the drivers. But Nick Nielsen driving the Cosmic Vortex for the Cosmic Racing Department, the guy who's in front at the moment. This is lap 18 of 23. Callum Eilert then, if he had got a handling problem, it looks as if that is totally over now and that he's at full throttle and in full capability to mount a challenge for a race victory over Nick Nielsen. Glances over his shoulder, Tom Joyner a little distance away. Nick Nielsen will be in no sort of mood to make a mistake here because he knows that Callum Eilert is the sort of driver who will immediately punish a situation if you've got yourself ever so slightly wrongly placed going into the turns this then the battle for first and second still feel bitterly disappointed for Lando Norris it will be interesting although to no avail I guess really to learn what the problem was lap 19 of 23 being completed we're in the late stages of the KF direct drive class here at Karting Genk Round three of a four-round European Championship for the CIKFIA Championship, powered by WSK Promotions. It's a prestigious title, it's worth winning. One of the titles won by Max Verstappen before he moved into kart racing. Car racing as opposed to kart racing. On lap 20, it's a really absorbing race, this. Again, I'm just going to briefly take my eye off the screen to see if the times tell us anything. Well, Nick Nielsen's quickest time was 54.00, 0, 0, 
Callum Eilert's done a 53.88, although that was several laps ago. 1.30 you saw in shot there was Linus Lundqvist. Linus Lundqvist is well down the field in 26th place. Race leader going to start another lap is 1.03, Nicholas Nielsen. Takuya Okada, who started last and got himself into the middle of the field, has dropped to last again. So the Japanese driver not emulating uh, Ota in the Academy Trophy race on behalf of the Land of the Rising Sun. Well, this is a really good scrap. We've had some races at the front which have been uh, won and lost by halfway, pretty much. But this is going all the way, isn't it? Callum Eilert certainly finding nothing wrong now with that Zanardi Perilla. Nick Niels, uh, Nicholas Nielsen similarly with the Cosmic Vortex. They both look to be giving it their absolute best shots. Nicholas Nielsen has a lead. I'm just going to peep out of the window because sometimes our television pictures do foreshorten things a little as they come round to complete the lap. Let me have a look at that. That's a four-part length lead and on the clock it's 0.29 of a second. Looks less on the screen. But Callum Eilert, if he's to win this one and is capable of, he's got to close the gap before he works out the passing move on Nicholas Nielsen. Tom Joyner still running third. Alessio Lorandi via the second chance heat last night is now fourth in the final. Oliver Norris is in the top ten. Little bit of consolation for the Norris family. Oli Norris gets into the top ten, but it's a big disappointment for Lando going out in the lead. You go out in the lead in a championship race, must be very hard to take. But hey, it's part of karting, and I guess going out with a mechanical defect is a lot better than crashing and injuring yourself. We're on lap 22 of a 23-lap race. Those of you that hear me commentate a lot know that I don't like to put the commentator's curse in. This is the last lap. I'm not making any predictions, but I would say that Nicholas Nielsen is in a happy position here with seven-eighths of a lap remaining in the KF final. He's being pursued by Callum Eilert, who's within 0.38 of a second of him, but there's only two-thirds of a lap remaining and an untidy drive there by Eilert, trying to get a little bit more of a slingshot, just a little bit wider exit from that hairpin. And uh, then, as well, getting a little bit sideways, but Callum Eilert has not given this up, has he? Callum Eilert's body language is, look, I may not be able to win this race, but I'm going to give it everything I can just in case. Nicholas Nielsen coming past the podium turn two right-handers to take there's the first of them there's the second of them here is the checkered flag and the victory goes to Nicholas Nielsen in second place it's Callum Eilert third is Tom Joyner fourth is Alessio Lorandi fifth is uh, Marine van Leeuwen cart number 121 uh, sorry Martin van Leeuwen 121 it's the Frenchman Julian uh, Darras who is in uh, the next finisher in sixth place, cart 117, Julian Dara for ART. In eighth place, no, Darras was sixth, Gabriel Aubrey seventh, Daravula eighth, Mazepin ninth, and Oliver Norris in the tenth place. Let me look away from the screen to the highlights, and this is cart 103, Nicholas Nielsen, in a lead which he was not going to keep. At this stage, Nick Nielsen has got a lead of about eight or nine cart lengths, a good start for the Dane. But in third place was Lando Norris. There is part 120, the lime green coloured helmet, or mainly yellow. Callum Eilert in second place here. And Callum Eilert takes the lead on our highlights there with Nicholas Nielsen in second place. They both look round. Lando Norris is there. Our highlights package now showing that part number 103 goes through Nicholas Nielsen into the lead and Lando Norris goes with him and Callum Eilert relegated to last actually last of the three to third but Lando Norris now going through both of them and he takes the lead now let's try and see what happens when he goes out he's in a clear lead at the moment there's absolutely nobody close to him Nicholas Nielsen passes Callum Eilert Tom Joyner joins them and that's another move by Callum Eilert into second place. Lando Norris looking over his shoulder. All seems well at the moment. On our highlights package, I'm just trying to see why we lose Lando Norris. Well, we've already lost him, and it was just a mechanical defect of whatever 
we don't know, but it took the lead off Lando Norris and put that fabulous battle between Nicholas Nielsen and Callum Islet, which they took to the chequered flag in that order, with Tom Joyner finishing third. Alessio Lorandi fourth, Martin Van Leeuwen fifth, Julian Dara sixth, Gabriel Aubry, another Frenchman, seventh, Johan Daravola eighth, Nikita Mazepin ninth, and Oliver Norris completing the top ten. Commiserations to Lando Norris and uh, the drivers that went out early on in uh, one or two of those ugly looking shunts. Cart 168 was a little unlucky, Daniel Lundgaard, but our captions showing you the full result. Ahead of us going down to the podium. Don't go far away, podium up next. of the podium we're coming forward to the kf trophy presentation very very shortly all of the guys are here now i just have to wait until i'm told we're ready to go and we will go
So is there anyone else wants to come and see the podium presentation? We are very, very close to calling the drivers up. Got a full tribune in front of the a la carte restaurant. The sun's shining, lot of atmosphere, lot of color. If you want to come and join us down here, please do. And so the podium presentation for the KF class, we call to the podium the third place driver from Great Britain, Tom Joyner. We call the second place driver from Great Britain, Callum Eilot. And we call the race winner from Denmark, Nicholas Nielsen. And we call for... Well done, guys. And we call forward a representative of the winning team, Cosmic Racing, Mr. Olivier Marichal. More cheers from the Danes. So, a Danish victory, Nicholas Nielsen winning. The Cosmic Racing Department also getting the victory. We shall acknowledge the victory of Nicholas Nielsen by playing the national anthem of Denmark. Well, as the National Anthem of Denmark comes to a close, we move forward now to the trophy presentation. Making the presentation to Tom Joyner in third place is Kuhn Lemons, the circuit owner. Tom Joyner, of course, the reigning world champion and still with aspirations for this title. In second place, Callum Eilert will find his trophy presented by Mr. Paul Lemons, circuit owner. Callum Eilert also with championship aspirations very much alive. And that applies to our race winner because making the presentation to Nicholas Nielsen is Mr. Frank Smeets, the deputy responsible for sport at Limburg region, Mr. Frank Smeets. So Nicholas Nielsen wins, gets the trophy, gets the championship points. And more cheers for him. And our trophy presentation to Olivier Mariscal of Cosmic Racing Department will be made by Johan Skepers, Director of Sports of Genk. Or Genk. Thank you, Johan, and well done, Olivier. So the trophies are presented, and now the lovely ladies bringing flowers. And for this class, they also have tires. Well, the guy's going to have to have the hands full, aren't they? Because there's a trophy, there's a bouquet of flowers, there's a set of tyres, and there's some uh, bubbly stuff coming shortly. But first of all, photos. Will be that sparkling beverage time. Let's see what happens.
are not provided for the, for interviews because no? okay. you, you told me that uh, yeah, on the next race uh, I think